So, Briggs and Stratton rebuild update. So, uh, got red paint everywhere, and that's because we've got this thing spinning around, looking good. Looking good. I got that masked off, so those logos and such will still be there. Oh, I got black spray paint on it because I spray painted this piece here with this engine paint, engine enamel. Let me tell you, this stuff has beautiful coverage. This paint right here. And then I spray painted the flywheel too. I don't know how well that's going to stick considering that the flywheel is uh, soaked in degreaser and WD-40 and such. And then I got spray paint on the rain or the pistons which are looking really good, nice and clean, all degreased, ready to go back into the cylinders. This one has a lick of nothing on it. It looks good, absolutely good, except this one's got a little bit of red spray paint on it, but that won't hurt it. I've got these rain or these all cleaned and dried out, and yes, when I put the pistons back in, I'll put oil on the rings and in the thing, so I'm not putting it back into a dry cylinder. Um, we got degreaser sitting on the the heads right there, getting ready to go. And yeah, so pretty much we're in the cleanup stages, and I will never spray paint in a house again because paint goes everywhere. But this thing is looking fine, so good. But yeah, this thing is this is this is some good paint right here, good coverage. I like it. It's nice. Although it probably will take a million years to fully cure. But you know what? This Briggs and Stratton is looking really good. Oh, I've got oh, to gotta clean out this valve in this spray paint can. There we go. Clean that out like that. But uh, yeah, your Zep Heavy Duty Degreasers works wonders. And then you just shake it up with your Recip sub. You just tape the uh, can to the blade and yeah, put it on for a few minutes and you're good to go. You'll have some awesome shaped paint. But yeah, so there's lots of parts to clean and paint. But yeah, and then I got to get that engine cylinder all cleaned off and paint that. That's going to be a task. I think before I go up, I'm going to. Get this piece all cleaned up and spray paint it. But, yeah, you know what? I don't think I will. What do you guys think about painting this engine black? There's what it looks like. I mean, it'll be pretty much all black. Nothing too exciting to it. But, you know, whatever. Those are some fine looking pistons. Rings are good. Cylinders are scoreless and you know this is one fine engine right here one heavy duty fine engine and look at that nice sheen on that does that not look good does that not oh you can I don't know if you guys can see the paints the back paints part uh, particles on it but oh well it's looking good that is some good sheen on that thing <whistles> things beautiful Wow, I've got these hanging from ropes, but yeah, that's tonight's version of Stratton, a post twin rebuild update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and comment. And yeah, if you, uh, what do you think? Should I paint it black or should I leave it the color it is and clean it up? Because there's mixed colors in here. You can see how some of it's like a gold color and some of it's like a silver color. You know, maybe not paint all of it black, but you know, the removable pieces. Paint those black, like the heads and that cover, and you know, clean up the uh, air filter cover and all that good stuff, and just leave the actual block like that color. I'm not sure. Whatever you guys think, let me know in a comment. Thanks for watching. R please subscribe and comment, and don't get spray paint all over you. Crap.